Hi, it's Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Michelle. I make videos about books. Please hit the subscribe button. It really helps my channel grow. In today's video, I am giving you some hopeful possibilities for Smut Den. The thing with Smut Den is that you spin a wheel. So although I have some things that I really, really would really, really like to get to, uh, I don't know if I can get to them because it all depends on the wheel. So my strategy <laughs> is to just do things that I already have on Kindle. Now that's a little bit risky because Kindle books, especially Kindle Unlimited romance books are usually very, very long because authors get paid by page swipe on Kindle Unlimited, so they make the books as long as possible. I have some of these books on audiobook. Obviously, they've been on my radar for a while, and these are just some ones I'd really like to get to. Some of these are light. Actually, most of these are light, and I only have a few dark. So let me just show you some of my hopefuls for Smut Den, and then I will be having a vlog coming out after Smut Den to see what I actually read. So let's get into it. The first one I have is a novella that just came out called Wild Less by Tegan Wells, and it just says an erotic novella. Now I'm looking at novellas because, once again, a lot of these romances on KU are extremely long and I do want to read as much as humanly possible for Smut Den. Like that's kind of the whole point of Smut Den is to read as much as you can. But I feel like it's a little different because like KU romance is just notoriously so long, like 600 pages. So we'll see. The next one I have that I just got and I can't remember why I think it was on sale but this is called Lotus by Jennifer Hartman and I have no idea if this is light or dark but I'm assuming from the cover it could be dark and if I get like if I spin something that fits this I could possibly read it once again I know nothing about this I went and bought this just completely on a whim because like why not <laughs> The next one I have that I really would like to get to is Mile High by Liz Tomador? Tom? Tom Ford? I think it's Tom Ford. I'm sorry, I can't really see. This is a hockey romance, and that's all I know. I read, um, what is it called? Icebreaker? Because of TikTok specifically. So I know that this is another hockey romance, and that's really all I know. The next one I have is called Cakewalk by Claire Hastings, and uh, from the cover, I don't know, this this could be dark, um, but it's just this like manly man with all these tattoos, <laughs> I'm like, I have no idea. The next one is Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. I have seen this book everywhere. I know nothing about it except that it's like this this big. Like it is a ginormous book. I have another book by Lucy Score that's traditionally published, but this one is indie and I this is going to be on the light wheel. So we'll see. Another one on the light wheel is Heartless by Elsie Silver. I read Flawless earlier in the year and absolutely loved it and I know that Heartless is the second one. I'm super excited for this. It has my most hated trope ever, but someone recently told me about it and I feel like going in knowing that this is going to happen is going to be better for me. I hate being surprised by this trope, so I think this, I think by Melissa telling me that this trope is in this book is going to make me be okay about it. The next one is Indigo Ridge. I believe this is like a thriller romance um, between a cop and someone else. I'm interested in this one and I have the audiobook for this one. I have a couple more. Um, Feels Like Love. I don't know. <laughs> this looks like a light romance but I can't tell because obviously this dude looks like this. And then I also have Trouble by Rilsey Adams, and this was also recommended by Melissa um, from Book Bar. Um, absolutely love this cover. And then I have The Rookie and the Rockstar, which just like looks great as well. 
Um, another one that I have is Faking with Benefits, Benefits by Lily Gold. And I know that this is reverse harem, but like the cover looks so light. So like I don't, I'm gonna have to ask an expert who's already read it. I'll probably ask Jack from Jack in the Bookstack what to do about that. Okay, another one I have from Kindle Unlimited is Still Beating, and I know that this is a dark romance. And this is one I've had on Kindle Unlimited, no joke, for like two years, and I haven't returned it. So I'm definitely hoping to get to Still Beating, but there are just other ones that are on my list a little bit higher. Another one I have on my Kindle that's light is Read Between the Lines by Rachel Lacey and this is sapphic so that would be good. I would love to read a sapphic romance for Smut Den. I always have the Mindfuck series which is definitely dark and I believe it has to do with the serial killer and like an FBI agent. I know that Lexi did the 24-hour readathon for that, but I I just can't do 24-hour readathons because of my kids. But that would be something that would be really fun. Okay, so those are some books that I have just on my Kindle that I am hoping to get to for Smut Den. There is one book that I would like to buddy read with my friend Nat from Nerdy Nat Reads, and that is called For You and No One Else by Ronnie Lauren. So I'm hoping that is the first book that I get with my first spin for The Light Wheel. And I am so excited about that one. I have really loved this series and I just know I'm going to love that book. So let me know before Thursday night, before 7 p.m. Eastern, if there are any books on KU specifically that you think I would really like, especially if they're a dark romance that isn't like 600 pages. I really am a novice in dark romance, but I would really like to expand my taste for Smut Den. So please give me any and all of your recommendations and also let me know if any of these are considered dark, even if they have like cutesy covers. So I'm not confused because I know that publishing does this a lot, so. Let me know. I'm so excited for Smut Den. I cannot wait to read these books. And thanks for watching my video. See you in my next one. Bye. Losing time, I'm fading fast.